if President Putin wins, it means that uh, authoritarianism wins over over democracy. It means that uh, the world has given a chance to a terrorist state to to be a victorious state. Let's go to the capital, Kiev, uh, and to the Ukrainian MP, Lesia Vasilenko, who's live with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks very much for your time. First of all, on the situation um, regarding Mariupol, the Russians claiming some kind of victory yesterday, and yet you will have seen the images which I just referenced there. Um, more details according to the mayor of war crimes. Uh, it, what Russia is doing in Ukraine, it's uh, one total war crime. Uh, also crimes against humanity and also the crime of crimes genocide. Uh, if we qualify it under international law, these are these are the terms that need to be used to to the actions that Russia is uh, deploying in Ukraine under their war of aggression, which they have been waging uh, since 2014. Maybe it's a little bit too much to, to all the listeners, uh, a bit too much uh, legal uh, terminology, mm. but to, to to say in plain terms, uh, basically it's. It's atrocities that are being committed uh, on every step uh, a Russian soldier takes on Ukrainian land. It's rape, it's looting, it's uh, killing, it's mass killings, and they don't differentiate whether they are shooting at a soldier or whether they are shooting at a car packed full of uh, families with small children. And so what do you make of the situation facing specifically, let's continue to talk about Mariupol at the moment, Um Russia saying that they're going to halt their assault on this steelworks where there are some still some Ukrainian soldiers and, and fighters um, and they've claimed victory elsewhere in the city. Uh, well, the city still stands under Ukrainian flags, so uh, I think that the fight is still not over for Mariupol. And the cor- courage that is being shown right now by the military b- battalions of the Ukrainian army that are stationed in Mariupol is absolutely extraordinary. It's also encouraging and inspiring to the rest of the population as we Ukrainians watch what is going on in Mariupol. We, of course, pray for for the lives of, of the people, but we also pray for the victory of our army and that they are able to stand and that they are able to do whatever it takes to to keep that city standing under the Ukrainian flag. And keeping the, the rest of Ukraine standing, um, we've had news overnight from the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, saying that Ukraine needs, by his estimation, $7 billion a month to make up for the economic losses caused by the invasion. Of course, there has been money provided by the West. President Biden in the US has announced $800 million going to Ukraine. But just tell us about the financial impact on the country and the damage and what that is doing. Uh, where do I begin? Russia has hit Ukraine in every possible way, in every possible sector. So Ukraine has always been uh, a country uh, with, with uh, a lot of industry, agriculture, uh, infrastructure, transport system, all of that has been uh, hit and destroyed in one way or the other. And what, most importantly, in all of these sectors, Ukraine has been a partner to EU countries and to uh, countries across the Atlantic, uh, as well as Africa and the Middle East. Uh, but now uh, all trade is put on hold, all uh, exports are put on hold, because Russia has just come into our territory and des- decided to destroy everything that uh, that is of value. And at the moment, uh, Ukraine, while fighting for its independence and peace and security in the world, Ukraine is also uh, forced at the same time to find ways to rebuild its economy. Uh, because uh, while, uh, while we fight Russia, we, we have to keep standing economically and we have to be economically strong for our people to be able to live uh, in Ukraine, although with war in the background, but still in Ukraine, which is uh, which is developing uh, economically, which is uh, providing uh, pro- proper social benefits, such as a good education system, a good mm. uh, medical system. So all of these concerns, they didn't go away. We still live in the 21st century and people still want to have all of these benefits of the 21st century. But at the same time, we, we have to make do and we have to provide these benefits with war in the background. Uh, And a war that could get worse. Um, Overnight, what Western intelligence officials have been briefing the the press in the UK, that they think that President Putin um, is still in a position to win, despite all that's happened in this first phase of the war and the humiliation that that has hit the Russian forces. What do you make of that assessment? Uh, I I really hope that uh, the Western powers will uh, continue supporting Ukraine 
that the UK, the US, Canada, uh, all of the EU countries will pull together in an act of solidarity and that Ukraine will be receiving the weapons that we are asking for continuously. Uh, President Zelensky has made public and private appeals on a number of occasions. Uh, lists of, of the weapons needed for Ukraine to keep standing have been uh, transferred to every single government, to every single parliament in the world, uh, very much detailed lists of the weapons that Ukraine really needs. And as, as long as we'll be getting those, and as, as long as there will be a steady supplies of, of uh, military aid to Ukraine, uh, there's there's no chance that Putin can stand. Uh, but is and that still in, something it, that you fear, though, potentially, that President Putin could still, even with what you just described there about um, aid and uh, military equipment going from the West, there is still a possibility that he could win, uh, whatever win means, be that control more of the East or even further? You know, it's a common responsibility that all of the international community has today to make sure that that doesn't happen. If President Putin wins, it means that uh, authoritarianism wins over over democracy. It means that uh, the world has given a chance to a terrorist state to to be a victorious state. Mm. It means that more people in Russia will live in terror and uh, will live under a dictator rule. And it means that security in Europe and the world will be compromised. So this is uh, this is uh, the, the world that we will create if. Putin is allowed to win. Now it's up to each one of us, each government, each parliament out there who has the possibilities to help Ukraine now and to stop Putin from winning to decide what they want to do and what world they want to offer uh, to the people of today and the future generations. Thanks very much for your time, Lesia. I appreciate it. That's Lesia Vasilenko, a Ukrainian MP speaking to us live from Kiev in Ukraine.